So hello, a little experiment here, galvanizing and making the electrolyte copper electrolyte I'm trying to make here. So I've done a test before and it runs really good and uh, the product I'll galvanize, some rings are very durable to coating. So this runs about for a minute to set up. It's reacting really good. Here, the anode, the cathode, both of them. Kappa cents, euro cents, five cents piece, two cent piece, and in a different way. And this is the ingredients I used for it: natron, kitchen vinegar, salt, and a little baking soda. So this. As this vinegar has about 5%, it's already very, very thin. I'm going to put a little old water to prefer the cleanest. Use distilled water, but I just used old water. And, uh, it's reacting really good. This is an uh, electrolyte I've done before, very durable. And that's, um, some anode cathode to make this. I used an uh, electro a welding rod, nickel, pure nickel welding rod. And you see the left let's see, was the um, anode and right was the cathode. I'm gonna put it in. Uh, you have to have a little more juice, a little more uh, amperage. Welding rods, I used um, a battery, a car battery charger, something like this. Yeah, and you have to stir it, it's pretty warm if you don't have a resistor in between, which I didn't add. I just stirred it and used it. And I'll show you the results of it a little later. So, but this is a copper setup, and in a while, this is turning blue, and then I get back. Galvanic plating, oh, five volt, direct currency. Yeah, the plus a copper penny cent, European copper cent, five cent piece. The solution, the liquid, vinegar. Natron, kitchen natron or Kaiser natron, and well, that's it. And a little salt. It's a copper penny. You can see the bubbling very nice. Five volts. And here, a beautiful ring, brass, to get it a little more back to. See how beautiful this turns out. Copper. To get it more back to bronze, huh? Turns also very quick to this nice copper bluish liquid. Stirring it a little bit. And see. Just put it in maybe five minutes and go. So simple. Works really great. Put it a little close. Plus. The minus without touching it. It's great seeing if. Minus piece, the piece you want to play it, hangs freely, not touching the ground or the side walls. See how beautiful it turned out. Just cleaned really normally and it's getting really coppery. 
I want to get it really dark. So, yeah, then oxidation, it turns back to bronze. Because in the normal messing or brass, it's 60% copper always, and then zinc and Wrong situation is yeah, 60% copper and uh, you know, then about 40% of zinc. So, well, I was surprised how good this works with this copper scent, European copper scent. It's wonderful and very quick. So, and water, vinegar, kitchen vinegar, normal vinegar, and Kaiser Natron. That's it. And the five, the, the, the setup here is all telephone recharge, five volts. Simple, and this is the way you get it. Be a little careful, but it doesn't stink, so it's not, not fuming really. It's very natural product. Yeah, yeah, that's the way they're doing it for a very long time. And anyhow, Copper and brass, Bronx, they're doing it for thousands of years. And I made my jewelry here and plating it and getting different effects on the rings. Makes it really beautiful. That's one of them. Yeah, check this one. Looking really great. So, that's all. Have fun, try it yourself. This 
do setup. Later, because I want to really get it sick. Laying in. Check it out. So here the results of the dielectroplating project. The pieces I played electroplated. As you saw before in the video. Yeah. Check this. As prescribed. Oh. This was the Copper electro light. The electro light you see came out beautiful. I used, uh, the ground my base material was uh, brass to get a little yeah, the same. See the different effects in color. Beautiful how it came out. This I made and this one is really almost looks like palladium. It's really durable. <coughs> I polished this with a Dremo and uh, yeah you see how resistant and durable the coating is. Here, yeah, the bronze effect with the old copper electrolyte, which turns it really dark. See here, uh, the Eurocent I did. Really durable nickel. Then with the nickel electrolyte here, check 